Hi, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. Hi, Libra. All right, so we're going to jump right in. Um, I'll start out with the love oracle, like I did for Virgos. So if you're new to my channel, then whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. Even though I do do all the signs by the month. Um, if you are a previous subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. Um, also, I am doing your sexual energy read right after this, Libra. So if you want to join me on Patreon, you will have access to that as well. All right. What do we need to know for Libra? In fact, you know what? I'm going to go get something to clear the energy. I'll be right back. Let me shuffle these one more time. Okay, I'm back. What have we got for Libra? I just took a little bell just to clear the energy. Because I was reading for Virgo. The hair somewhere. Okay. First card we got is grass is greener. I have no idea what that means yet. <laughs> Whoa. Three cards for Libra. Whoa. So either you or your person, I cannot tell your guys' energy apart because you guys are so closely intertwined. We have grass is greener and we have regret. So either you are feeling regret or your person is. I do not know. Sorry for any background noise. Oh, see wee wee. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to get one more card. Should I even get a new card after that? A new card. I said new card because you guys got new love. And I don't even... <sighs> grass is greener. So we have grass is greener and regret. Could be a divine masculine. He's laying in the bed. There is buku amounts of alcohol over here. Your person is drinking themselves to oblivion. Because they thought the grass was greener on the other side. And then they woke up and realized, the fuck it isn't. The fuck it isn't. And when they see you in this new love energy, oh man. I don't know if this is you seeing your person in this energy. And you're feeling regret because you see them with someone else. Or they're seeing you. Someone is not happy about this new love energy. Okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. The last card we got is intuition. I have a feeling, Libra, that you know who I'm talking about, whether it's you or whether it's your person. And I feel like you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I feel like um, this person is going to try to come back. And you're going to have to use your intuition to see because I feel like they're going to come back and say, I've changed, I've this, I've that. And you're going to have to decide if it's just a crack of shit like it always has been or if they've actually done some changing. Actions speak louder than the words. Remember that. I'm going to pull two cards from my Gypsy Witch. <laughs> just throw this, Joe, throw some Gypsy Witch on this. Because, oh my God. I don't even know what to say about this, Libra. <clears throat> Can we get two cards? Wow. Number 47. You got the bride. So this new love might be mm, the real deal. Wow. Okay. So we have number 47. If you add it up, it's 11. So it is a divine um timing union okay because 11 is a master number libra you know this number 47 the bride ensures for a single person the fulfillment of their highest aims their highest aims <laughs> now whether that's marriage or whether that's just like your business taking off um i don't know but it says the bride ensures for a single person the fulfillment of their highest aims for some of you it's going to be marriage yes for some of you. And then we got number 33. Number 11, right? 47 added up. It's 11. Number 33. Master numbers. You cannot make this shit up, Libra. Holy shit. Okay, it says, the clover leaf is a bearer of good tidings. Oh, so luck is on your side, Libra. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm... 
Oh my God. I'm gonna throw some tarot on this. We're gonna do four cards of the Rider Waits and four cards of the Light Sears and see if we can get some deeper intuition into this, some deeper insights. Then we'll do the Romance Angels and we're gonna call it a reading. I'm sorry if there's any background noise. There's a lot of people awake. Wowzers, this energy already is popping for you, okay? It's popping like a pussy, Libra. All right, what do we got? Are you ladies stop this pussy like this? <laughs> Somebody sent me that today. It was just fucking phenomenal. Okay. Why my friends send me things like that? I don't know. We love each other. It's how we roll. <laughs> All right. Knight of Swords. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This person is coming in like a bat out of hell. Possible fire sign. We got King of Wands. Okay. So here's what happened. It feels like this damn fool... <laughs> I'm just going to slap the table because this feels like a divine masculine, okay? They're rushing in like a bat out of hell because they feel like they fucked up. Look at that. Rushing in. And you know what? I don't, I, I don't, hmm, I hate to say this, but I don't see many much changed energy. I feel like the reason they're rushing in like this bat out of hell, the Knight of Swords energy is, yes, rushing in, forward movement, coming towards you really quickly. But again, the Knight of Swords is a, a is an aggressive energy. It's an energy of being too rash, not thinking things through, which is, I feel like, the problem they had in the beginning. Because if they're coming out as King of Wands, this is fire sign energy. And it's like someone with a with like rash tendencies, someone who doesn't think things through, someone who can have a temper, you know? And they came out really close to each other. Look. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. So it does show that they have learned a little bit. But Page of Pentacles doesn't learn much. <laughs> They've learned a little bit. But have they learned a lot? They're still showing up as a page. That just shows you. They didn't show up as like King of Pentacles. They're showing up as a Page of Pentacles. So they learned a little bit during... You know, whatever they were supposed to be doing. But did they, they didn't learn a lot. <sighs> See? Page of Pentacles. Energy of learning. Studying. Um, you know, it's the energy of like learning things. And learning lessons. But, you know, it's a page. It's not a king. It's a page. It's still little childish boy energy. It's little boy energy. He's a little boy. <laughs> He's a little boy. He's a little boy in a king of wands and a king of knight of swords energy body. <laughs> so his body's grown, but his brain is page. If that makes sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. But they do see you as their ten of cups. They see a future with you. They see the happily ever after with you. So, oh my God, on the bottom of the deck, you can't make it up. Look, empress. They see you as this um, empress energy. Divine feminine if this reading is for you, oh my God, if, fuck my life. You cannot make it up. I pulled the Empress card because it was on the bottom of the deck. And look at what is also on the bottom of this damn deck. You cannot make it up. Right there. Justice. Libra energy. It's you, Libra. So, and underneath that, we have King of Pentacles. <laughs> this is a new one coming in. <laughs> See, that's the type of energy you want this page to be in. You want this page to have graduated to the King of Pentacles, but he hasn't. He's still in this page energy. This person is still showing up as a page. So if this energy, if this energy read is for a divine feminine, which I feel like it is, then they see you as this empress. Okay, now flip flop the sexes. It doesn't matter. It's about the energy. If you know you're more feminine than masculine, vice versa, whatever. Okay. Libra, they see you as their Ten of Cups, but they have not learned enough to approach you properly. They're going to probably, and they're going to say, look, I see someone coming in, but it's because they feel you energetically falling in love with someone else. And they're going to come and say, oh, I fucked up. I was drunk every single night because I thought the grass was greener, but it wasn't. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Hello? Now, how is that... <laughs> How is that Libra's fault? <laughs> right? Oh my God, I cannot. 
10 minutes in, and I, this reading is just cray cray. All right, four more cards for Libra, and then we're going to do the Romance Angels. I'm going to wrap this shit up. Libra, you already know everything you need to know. This motherfucker done lost his mind. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you know, does Libra want any part of that? I don't know. I guess it's up to Libra. Libra going to know. They Libras always take their own advice. Follow your heart. If your heart says he's full of shit, then he's probably full of shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Four cards. Five of swords. See? Oh, ho, ho, ho. He all up in his head about this shit. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm sorry. I'm not meaning to laugh, but it's funny. See? Still showing up as Paige. Paige. Um, look. Five of swords. Someone all up in their head. Stressed out. Seeing all this competition around you. This energy. These divine masculines all around you. And going, oh my God. What the fuck did I do? Their higher self is like in the background and their their higher self is like, what the fuck did I tell you, bro? And they didn't listen though. So now then there's energy of, I've learned my lesson. Look, Page of Swords, learning, learning, but they're not there yet. Page of Swords is still just a page. The Page of Swords also is energy of watching, spying, learning. There's a lot of birds, which shows me they're, they want to communicate, and they're probably going to communicate soon. But they're still coming in at the Knight of Swords energy and the Page energy, which is not what a Divine Feminine Empress needs. A Divine Feminine Empress needs some King energy. See? Hanged man. Everything's on pause. They need to be in that energy of enlightenment. They need to learn more lessons if they're going to come forward. What is the last and final card for Libras? This has been a beautiful reading. Thank you, Spirit. I mean, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I actually like when I keep these readings short and sweet. You get way more. Knight of Swords. See? Again. Oh, my God. They're, they're You know what? They're going to piss me off. They're going to piss me off. Look. Rushing towards you at high speed. Wait. I fucked up. Look at this. But they're still in that shitty energy. Hold on one second. Oh, God. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. Where were, where were we? So, yes. There's an energy of them coming forward super quickly. Look. We got two knights of swords. Okay. Someone running towards you. A divine masculine. Someone running towards you. But there's this energy of... They're learning lessons. We got Page of Swords. They're coming across as a page. They're everything is on hold right now, at least for them, because they need to experience a little bit more enlightenment. They're not on your level. They're not quite on your level, Libra. They're still in page energy when you're like way up here, Empress energy, high priestess. But I feel like they're going to see you with someone else and it's going to trigger them to come forward. But they're not ready. They're not ready for you. That's all I'm going to say about it. You're going to have to use your intuition whether or not you want to give this person another shot or not. I mean, that's completely up to you. So I am not going to give you advice either way. I'm going to throw some romance angels on this and then we're going to call it a reading. We done. Libra, get out of my house. <laughs> Sorry, I had to use my catchphrase on you. It's been, a min it's been a minute. So if I say, Libra, get the fuck out of my house, then you got to get out of my house, Libra. You don't have to leave, but you can't stay here right now. Okay? Okay. All right, Libra. Yeah, she do got to leave. <laughs> Libra, can we get the last three cards to wrap up Libra's love reading, please? Spirit guide. Free yourself. Wow. It's time to take back control of your life, Libra. Ooh, time to unchain that fucking unicorn. I love this goddamn energy. Engagement. Holy shit. 
So this person, that new person, or blah, 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 blah. This person that's coming in with this Knight of Swords energy, it's probably because they're going to see you in a new relationship. It literally says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So this new love is not just going to be new for long. I feel like it's going to go very quickly into some kind of commitment. Free yourself. Time to free that unicorn, Libra. Okay. Engagement. It doesn't necessarily have to be engagement either. It could be like a divine union. Um, it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So that word ascending keeps resonating in my ear. It's like, you know, your love life or this new connection ascending you to a higher type of love, if that makes sense. See, yup, we got pay attention to the red flags, Libra. The signs are cautioning you. Ooh, I don't know. This, this energy that's coming in, I feel like there's a lot of red flags attached to it. There's, mm, 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 mm. okay. This card right here, I feel like when this other person comes rushing in, you're going to have to use your intuition. There is literally an ancestor right here that's trying to warn, I don't even know if you can see it right there, trying to warn this person that something ain't right. If it don't smell right, and then it probably ain't right. It's 1636 on my phone too. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Absolutely. So there might be energies where you're just on a different spiritual path than this person, or they're not taking their spiritual path seriously, and you are very dedicated to your spiritual path. So take that as it resonates. Maybe they're Christian. Maybe, you know, and maybe you're Wiccan. I don't know. Maybe you worship Satan and they are a Christian. I mean, who knows? Either way, it's sort of creating a wedge between you guys. You know, this person, this, this, this page, this Knight of Swords energy. Wow. Okay. Um, thank you, Libra. <laughs> thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. Like I said, this reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, it's for you. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but it's definitely going to resonate for someone. If you want to purchase a reading from me, Libra, you totally can. Um, you hit this little arrow, and I don't know, depending on which way you're looking at it, and it pops up my description box, and all of my prices are there. Um, why do I look so flush today? I don't know. Anyways, uh, please, if you feel so guided, hit that like button. It's free. It's free to subscribe. If you hit the notification, you'll always know when I upload a reading. Uh, please, if you feel so guided to, check out my son's channel. He's the only featured channel that's in my description box. And he works really hard on his channel as well. Uh, what else? What else? Please check out my Etsy shop. It's always in the description box below as well. And my Lemurian Love Deck is half off right now. It went from like 50 bucks to 25 So if you want to catch that catch it right now. If you want to tip me, it helps to grow my channel. It also keeps me afloat and I appreciate every little support. Um, I have two ways you can tip me and that's the PayPal app and there's also a cash app. I love you. Bye Libra. Bye.